Hello and welcome to this video detailing the process for replacing a Symbio 700 controller. The Symbio 700 controller is a factory installed controller found on train light commercial HVAC equipment, such as Odyssey, Precedent, Voyager 3, and Axiom water source heat pumps. The board has two versions, basic and advanced, with unique part numbers. For the purposes of this video, we're going to assume that the user is looking to upgrade an, in an installed basic Symbio 700 controller on the equipment with a new advanced controller that they presumably acquired from the train parts store. Notice the service part number of the advanced board is MOD03103. In addition to the new advanced board, we're going to need a USB mass storage device, which is often referred to as a thumb drive, and these typically come off the shelf formatted as FAT32. If, uh, if for some reason your storage device is not formatted FAT32, you'll need to go ahead and reformat it. We're also going to assume you have an iPhone or an Android smartphone and some basic hand tools. We're going to assume going forward that you have authorized physical access to the HVAC equipment that the Symbio 700 is installed on, that you have a current version of Symbio service and installation mobile app loaded on your mobile device, and that you're a trained professional using all appropriate safety standards and tools. The equipment that the Symbio 700 is installed on requires the person working on the equipment to be a qualified professional with the proper personal protective equipment and following all EHS policies and local regulations. Over the course of this video, we're going to step through a seven-step process for replacing the basic Symbio controller with a new advanced Symbio controller. First, we're going to go over how to download the current firmware to our USB mass storage device. Then we're going to learn how to back up the old board to a USB storage device. We're next going to physically swap out the old board and install and reconnect a new board. We'll launch our Symbio service and installation mobile app and connect to the new control board via Bluetooth. We'll upgrade that board to the current firmware. And finally, we'll restore the backup that we took and complete the upgrade process. So to start, we want to make sure we have access to the latest Symbio 700 firmware to ensure that our new control board can be updated as needed. To do so, we're going to need to access the train software download page on the internet. Now there's a lot of ways to get to the page. We'll walk through one way. If I go out in my web browser and I go to train.com and then on the train.com page, if we click on visit train commercial and then the page that we come to, we can click up top on products and solutions. We'll click on that. That'll bring up the navigation tree on the left where we can click on controls and building automation systems, which will finally bring the red button that says more on building and automation and management systems. We click on that button. It'll bring us to a page and we scroll down to the bottom of that page. We'll see a banner with a big red button that says looking for software downloads. We'll go ahead and click here. And that will bring us to the control software and firmware download page. We're going to navigate down to packaged units and split systems with Symbio 700. That's the controller we're looking for. So we'll click on that plus arrow. It will expand out and it's going to show us all of the available firmware for the Symbio 700. It'll show the current version along with the previous version. At the point of this video, the current version is 3.00.0012. That's going to be the file we're interested in. Now note, there's a lot of ways, again, to get to this software and firmware download page. I could have simply typed in this long URL address would have taken me to the same place. But um, starting from train.com with a few clicks, we can get here in a much uh, quicker manner. So what we're going to do, we're going to grab that latest version of the 700 firmware. We're going to copy that firmware to our USB mass storage device. We're going to make sure that the we go ahead and name the firmware file appropriately. That's going to help us to find it easier later. And um, and one quick note to make sure that you do not try to place it in a subfolder on your USB mass storage device. We're going to want to head and go ahead and 
keep it at the root of that folder. <laughs> so next we want to work on uh, creating a backup of our existing board to our USB mass storage device. So first we're going to go ahead and connect to our controller, the old controller, using our Symbios service and installation mobile app. Now at this point, I've mentioned the Symbio service and installation mobile app a couple times. If you're not familiar with the app, if you don't have it downloaded or are unfamiliar with how to connect to a Symbio 700 controller using the mobile app, I'm going to encourage you to go out, exit here, and go out to our YouTube channel, search for the video called Symbio service and installation app, getting connected. Great video. It helps walk you through how to download the app to either your iPhone or your Android, dev Android device how to connect to a Symbio 700 controller and how to begin utilizing the mobile app. But let's assume that you're familiar with the app. You go ahead and get connected, connect to our existing 700 board. And on the home screen, I'm gonna call your attention to license type. I've got boxed in red there. Um, notice here it says advanced. If it happens to say advanced, uh, well then you already have an advanced Symbio 700 controller connected and physical replacement would not be necessary. But we're going to assume at this point that your license type says basic, which is why we're here, performing a replacement and upgrading to advanced. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to insert our USB storage device directly to the control board. There's a J2 terminal in the top left corner of the control board. We're going to go ahead and insert our USB storage device right into that port. From there, we're gonna, now we're gonna capture a backup from the board directly to our USB storage device. Now note that backups using the mobile app are only gonna work when that storage device is connected. So as we look at the interface of our mobile app on the tools menu, we'll see backup. All right, so we'll hit backup, and it'll prompt us to initiate the backup process by clicking the Backup Now button, and will then show us that a system backup is in process. Give that a few minutes to complete the backup process. A couple things to note. Uh, the backup is going to be named on your USB storage device with a timestamp so that you don't overwrite backups. And the backup name is also going to start with the controller serial number. So if you're working on multiple controllers simultaneously, it will at least give you the controller serial number in the backup name to help you out. So now that we have a backup of our old board, we're done with it. So we want to swap it out for the new Symbio 700 board. Pretty simple process to follow. We'll go ahead and disconnect power to the board. We're going to remove all of the terminated connections. There's the Phoenix style connections across the bottom of the board, along with the Molex style plugs along the sides and the top of the board. So we'll go ahead and pull all the, uh, the connections. There'll be six screws holding the board in place. We'll go ahead and remove those. And that should allow us to remove that old board. So we remove that. And we'll go ahead and take our new Symbio 700 advanced board and we'll install it with the exact reverse process. Reinstall the six screws and re-terminate the connections. Go ahead and reapply power to that board and launch the Symbio service and installation mobile app and connect to our new control board using the mobile app. All right, next we want to upgrade the firmware on our new board to the latest and greatest firmware. This will be the firmware that you went out and downloaded in the previous step. So we're gonna go ahead and install the USB mass storage device, if it is not already installed, uh, into that USB host connector, that J2 port on the top left corner of our new Symbio 700 unit controller, connected. So we connect that USB storage device, and now we're going to utilize our Symbio service and installation mobile app to initiate the firmware 
upgrade process. We do that by going down on the bottom to the tools menu and click on update firmware. Once we select that, it's going to go out and look for available firmware files on our USB flash drive. If we only have one, you'll see it here. If there happen to be multiple, it'll give the opportunity to select which firmware file you want. So we'll go ahead and click on our firmware file and then click on update firmware button. It will be prompted then to select update and confirm that you want to initiate the firmware update process. Now note, this is gonna take three to five minutes or so once we initiate it. Over the course of that, you're gonna be disconnected from the controller. And part of way through the process, you're gonna see the LEDs on the controller itself will go out. This is all normal. Uh, if you wanna follow along through the update process, there is a, a, a two by 16 display on the face of the board. And you'll see some, uh, some dialogue on it that is displayed throughout the update process. And it'll start by saying validating FW, then decrypting FW and so on and so forth um, through several iterations and steps until finally an update success followed by load field, then uh, boot field. And then your firmware update is complete. And now your new control board is running the latest and greatest firmware. Uh, one note here for train technicians utilizing the tracer TU tool, this whole process can also be completed using the file transfer utility within tracer TU. So at this point, we now have our new Symbio 700 Advanced Controller installed and powered up. It's running the latest and greatest firmware. So all that remains for us to do is restore the backup that we took from the old controller. To do this, we're first going to reconnect to the controller with our Symbio Service and Installation mobile app we haven't already and we're going to go ahead and restore the backup to do that let's click on the tools menu and click on restore at this point i'm assuming right that the mass storage device is still plugged into the j2 port in the top left of our controller so the controller is going to go out and look for any available backup files contained on that storage device in this screen capture, we just see the one. If there happen to be multiple on the device, you select the appropriate one and click the Restore Backup button. At this point, you're going to see one of two different scenarios. You're going to get a Restore Details screen, and I'm going to call your attention to the product name. Keep in mind that the Symbio 700 controller is used as the controller for various pieces of uh, train light commercial unitary equipment, such as Precedent, Odyssey, Voyager 3, Axiom water source heat pumps, etc. So what this is really telling us is that the backup file on our USB drive is a precedent file, and the controller is configured for precedent. We could also see a mismatch where the file, the backup file is Odyssey, and the controller is a precedent controller. Either way, it, it does not matter. The controller is smart enough to to make the change as needed when it restores the backup. So we can go ahead either way and click proceed. It will let us know that the system restore is in process and initiated. At this point, the connection is going to be lost with our service and installation mobile app. That's okay. And it will go through the process to restore the backup. Once the restoration process is complete, you'll once again have the ability to connect with that controller with the mobile app. So we'll go ahead and reestablish connection. And we're going to see a notification on the home screen that's going to tell us the previous operation succeeded. The backup restoration was successful. So at this point, you have successfully updated your old Symbio 700 basic controller to your new Symbio 700 advanced controller, and the unit should return to normal operation.
Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I encourage you to check out our YouTube channel for a series of videos for all things working with the Symbio 700 controller and the Symbio 700 mobile app.